Well, as many people know, today Siemens operates in the fields of electrification and automation. But now we are looking at the start of the fourth industrial revolution. And this will bring an overlay of digitalization and the Internet of Things to our business. We will continue to do our traditional business in the way that we do it, designing and engineering our traditional products. However, our customers are now moving into an area where they're beginning to realize that there is value in data. By Siemens working with our experience and knowledge and marrying that to what we know, i.e. the value of the customer's data, we're going to work with our customers to try to extract new value from that data. Firstly, there is enormous value in data. And for this reason, today, there is a huge thirst for data. However, what we're seeing is some companies already in Ireland have clearly realized the value of that data. And now they're starting to build their digital enterprise around it. Siemens can help in this space. There are other companies, however, who not only have they not realized the value that's in their data, some of them don't even realize they have data. And once a company has realized they have data, there's value in it, then they build a new business model around it. Siemens made a decision uh, some time ago to fund Industry 4.0 projects across the globe. 36 projects were selected for funding. Siemens Ireland have secured two of those projects. And one of them, I believe, is extremely interesting. It's what we call our biopharmaceutical Mindsphere Application Centre, or BioMac for short. Siemens are working hand in hand with Nybert to use digital data, analytics, and science to try to improve the efficacy of the biopharmaceutical manufacturing process. We believe part of the reason why we in Siemens Ireland were successful in securing funding for this project is simply by the fact that the top 10 biopharmaceutical manufacturing companies are here in Ireland. And Ireland needs to keep doing what it's doing to attract more of these big companies into Ireland. Siemens has been in existence for 173 years and our purpose then is the same as our purpose today. We make real what matters. And that's what we have been doing since back in 1874 when Siemens came to Ireland at first to lay the first transatlantic cable. But the iconic project that we were involved in was the Shannon scheme which involved the power station in Arden Crusher and the transmission system associated with that. So we built the first grid and we will have an influence on the grid development as we go forward. Now, that development is going to be around the three Ds, decentralization, decarbonization, and digitalization. We all know why we have to take carbon out of our electricity production. Um, we believe in climate change as a reality, and it's something that we, as, as a responsible company, want to address. In terms of decentralization, the concepts of having long lines, power lines running across the country delivering power, I think that's going to become a little bit dated and you're going to see more and more small microgrids developing in campuses, industrial parks and even in, in communities where communities will have a greater say in the cost of the electricity that they buy. There is a global scarcity of engineers We've got to make the engineering concept, or the concepts around engineering, more attractive because we need it to be more diverse and we need to see more women engineers. I think you're going to see a convergence of data and data science and engineering. I think we need to see data and data analytics coming into the engineering syllabus straight away. But I think at, at a stage in the future, I think we might see a convergence. So this will take away the stereotypical view of engineering, that it's all about hard hats and high-vis vests. And that in itself, by attracting more women into engineering, will increase the numbers, but also increase the diversity. Traditionally, it's been about creativity, curiosity, problem solving. And the problems that it sets out to solve, I think up until now, have all been 
pretty hard technical problems where we know what the outcome is, we know what the answer is going to look like before we start. But I think in this new digitalized world, we're going to see more adaptive problems coming up. And these are problems where today we don't necessarily know the answer. We don't know what the final answer is going to look like. Also, in some cases, we don't even know if there is a business case. And I think this will be new for our engineering community and I think that they need to and they will become more comfortable in this new adaptive problem solving world.